Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today you will learn how to make this vintage leather journal right from the comforts of your home. Let's get started. Here are a few things you will need. Take some thick cartridge paper and cut it 5 inches in height and 10 inches in width. Use a ruler to cut the edges instead of a pair of scissors in order to get rough edges. Hold the paper with a clamp and hover it over the flame. Make sure it is at a safe distance from the flame as your goal is to achieve a brownish color. For this book, I required 20 sheets of paper but I made over 25 sheets since there were quite a few that were really burnt at the edges. Now make 5 booklets consisting of 5 sheets of paper each. Make 2 dots half an inch away from the edge and 3 dots at a gap of 1 inch away from each other. Now take a needle and yarn and poke a hole through these dots Hold the five booklets together and measure the spine of the book. Now create five vertical lines based on those measurements on the wrong side of the leather. Make horizontal lines at a distance of one inch away from each other, same as the dots we created on the paper. Use a hole puncher to create holes at each intersection. Now create two horizontal lines at a distance of five and a half inches and cut along the lines. Take a needle and yarn and secure the end of the yarn with a knot. Insert it through the bottom right corner and work your way up and down through the alternate holes for the first booklet. As you reach the end of the first booklet, bring the needle back to the last hole in the second last column and sew the second booklet. Sew all five booklets together and secure the ends by tying a knot at the starting point. For the flap of the book, cut a square on the left flap with curved edges. Draw a semicircle on the right flap and cut along the line. Cut a long strip of leather and create four holes on one end. Create two rows of four dots each and punch the holes. In order to sew them together, create a V-shaped pattern as seen here. Secure the two ends of the yarn by tying a knot at the starting point. And that's it! We're done making this cute little vintage journal which makes a perfect gift for your loved ones. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. I have mentioned a few tips and tricks in the description box below so make sure to check it out. Please help me grow my channel by hitting the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Click on this link here to learn several other gift ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!